Hi everybody, this is a short video, uh, and I'll make a longer video of it later, but I just went through this ordeal of ordering uh, harmonicas, getting the best prices, because my girlfriend is very good at getting the best prices on everything, and I'm pretty sloppy about it. But I used to use uh, just Honer Marine Bands, um, Steady, whatever I, I got, Chromatic, uh, the lower harps, whatever, pretty much 90% of the time, honers. But with everything just blowing up with all the different harps and all the different things and all the different tunings and all the different everythings, it's gotten kind of confusing. So I still try to get go basic and, uh, and do the east top thing with the toll pack and a, a couple chromatics. But anyway, go easy. Get cheap stuff. I mean... Get things that you can, if you don't need to spend tons of money on harmonicas, don't. Pick a harp you like, unless you want to just experiment and get all different kinds. The reality of it is, is that all these different harmonicas in different ways, the different tunings, I mean, the tunings are different, but I mean, the different sounds, the woodcones, the brasscombs, they all sound different. But when they're amplified, and it all gets changed, with the amplification you're using, whether you're playing through a PA or, or the kind of amplifier you're playing through, the the mic you're playing through, everything changes. And, and only uh, an ear doctor, I think, that specializes in that, or maybe my mom, she was a speech therapist, she could hear things that other people couldn't. Um, those kind of people, they'll catch the, the difference. But in general, if you've found harmonicas you like, and they're reliable, and you sound good. Uh, you can always change the sound with whatever you're using for your uh, your amplification. But the reality of it is, is that you can't change your sound of who you are playing the harmonica unless you work on playing the harmonica. You got to put it in your mouth every day. You got to play it and play the different music play the backing tracks available now these days or the records in the past or whatever like we used to do um, go play live play acoustic, play electric you know if that's what you want to do like in jams or with bands or or just in a duo situation play in front of a mic play you know playing um, you know at a gig with just a duo you know you'll, you won't want to use mostly anyway a, a Chicago style bullet mic You'll play off the microphone, you know, with a, and maybe you might like a, a Shure 57 because that's more harmonica-like, you know, sounding, than a Shure 58. That sounds better for vocals. I mean, I know that much about them. And I know that the original bullet mic that I got from, from the Avast, I believe it was the Avast Corporation in Canute, C-O-N-N-E-A-U-T, C-O-N-N-E-A-U-T, Ohio, back in the late 70s. That was a great, you know, harmonica mic and what people used. Um, different than the Green Bullet, different than, and everything else is uh, like the Honer uh, Bullet mics are, are, are all modeled after that taxi microphone. It's what people used at taxi stations, yeah, taxi mic. Anyway, um... But I've spoken about this before. I'd advise anybody, um, unless you're a collector of harmonicas and want a whole bunch of different kinds, and also the different styles, like like Brendan Powers, uh, you know, Patty Victor tuning uh, to play in in different, uh, yeah, different tunings to come up with different sounds. That's different, and um, but generally speaking. I, I guess my advice is to keep it simple and find harmonicas you like and if they work, order them and try to, and now these days there are less expensive options than the uh, higher priced uh, Honer and Kia and things like that. Alright, that's just my two cents in about this, you know, because it's, it's kind of an ordeal to look at like all the different kinds of, uh, you know, Harmonicas that, that had no idea what for, which is great, because other people do. And 
But I'm a very simple player. I, I play folk or blues, uh, old time blues. Um, I try to make an attempt at playing some kind of jazz when I'm playing with a guitar player that plays jazz. I, in a, in a very small way, I do that. But the thing is, is that um, what I have, what I use, uh, the, the diatonic harmonica, uh, Honer harmonica, and now the, the uh, one from East Top, they're fine for uh, Irish music, uh, playing the reggae, playing uh, fiddle tunes, if that's what I want to do, as well as uh, old-time uh, Mississippi blues or uh, Chicago blues, if I was in a position to play with them, like, whatever. But uh, they didn't cost me, you know, hundreds of dollars. They cost me far less money. Uh, because, once again, I mean, the difference in in what a harmonica sounds like when they're when they're created with these different uh, combs and different things that they do to them, yeah, you can hear the difference, but but not to the point where it's really going to matter if you're going to you know just spend hundreds of more dollars on something that might sound a, a little bit different than something that's a, that's less expensive and uh and still sounds right all right that's enough of this see you all later hope you understand where i'm coming from bye bye you guys and if you like this video please uh consider subscribing uh press the like thing uh let's see what else notification and uh, any questions that I can help with in any way, uh, please let me know in the comments. Thank you again.